Okay, waiver snapper. Oh yeah, that's how it's a waste. Not sure uh, where the fish are. Haven't seen them in a little bit. Usually in the summertime they stay a little low. But maybe the owls got them. Anyhow, good morning everybody. If it's morning for you, it's morning for me. We're gonna chuck some horses out this fine morning. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning. Really nice. Sun's out. Horses are swatting flies. Mr. Wild back here. <laughs> I was hoping. See, I think, look at this mess he's made. I was hoping he would pick up some tidy habits from Roni, as he's picked up some very messy habits. I think, I don't know. But uh, Ohana's uh, kind of messy beside him. So I thought, well, maybe come back with this guy. He might not. And but it's only his first day and it took him about a month to get all messy. Month or probably a month and a half to get messy when hanging around with her. So, anyways, let's chuck let's chuck him out. I've let him out and uh, he's free to go. Run away! He says, I just slowly ponder my way around. It's quite a relaxed dude. Okay, let's get Roni. He's right over there and we'll work our way around. Got it. Let's see if uh, Roni turns into a better horse this day for letting him go. Uh, put you guys there. I both believe in. Wait. Wait. Okay, you're free. You're going to go. Good boy. You can go. Go on. He's ready. Yes, he's learned. Okay. If I turn my back, he might go. There he goes. 
So that kind of stuff is really important. Can't really stress that enough. You gotta be committed to getting things right. Oh well. Practice, practice, practice. And the practice never ends. How about this whippersnapper? Should we grab the whippersnapper? Yes, we should. You guys have to go on the ground this time. Like that. No problemo. Okay, let's see how she does to let her go. I'm just having a roll. I don't think I'm going to do this with the camera in my hand. You monkey. Down. Please don't make me chase you again. Wait. Good. Come here. Wait. 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 Good girl. Thank you. You're free now. <laughs> crazy orange horses. Okay. You can go now. You can go. And these orange horses are a pain in the butt. Okay, let's go get the easy horses.
So that's the two easy ones. And orange horses. No good. The twinsies are the co groom. And the other three are doing whatever they're doing. Just gonna grab my coffee. You guys haven't seen these. Classic Bob. Made them into a coffee cup. Fantastic coffee cups, by the way. These things are wonderful. Keep coffee hot. And it's not just a sales pitch, literally. They're great. Good to drink from, both with the lid on or off. Because uh, it's, it's this kind of lid. But uh, even if you didn't have the lid on, it's still quite... Uh, um, nice to drink from and cleans really easy. I've just stood this up with my foot. It's my new table. Yeah, see? Classic Bob. Okay, thanks camera. Yeah, I thought it'd be funny. Somebody said uh, one of the, in one of the videos that Bob, something Bob did was, oh, Classic Bob. And then, uh, like, yeah, it's a good one. Let's make that into a cup. So I've just got my five in here at the moment. <laughs> Gracie gets pushed around an awful lot. But then, once in a while, she gets a little spicy, as we'll call it. And uh, goes around pretending she's going to kick everybody. Here are my twinsies. It's bright today, so... Sometimes it looks like a silhouette because the camera's accommodating for the bright. So what do we got? We've got uh, Roni telling Gracie where to go, even though if it is just her, he loves having her around and won't let anybody go anywhere near her. But if it's Lena, well, she's a high priority. And Gracie's going to have a roll. Got Luke coming over. He's probably going to start a fight with Roni. Looks like a nice gentleman's fight. Says Ronnie, how about it? Ronnie's busy talking to Gracie, and Lena's just quiet, which is very interesting. I always found that quite interesting. She doesn't particularly follow Ronnie around at all, but he guides her an awful lot. You can see he stopped her from kind of going forward. Luke's coming in for a conversation. Ronnie's telling us, "Back off." Got a few flies, a few skeeters here and there. They're not too bad though. Typical summer, no big deal. That's a lot of conversation. This poor guy, he's just he's wondering whether or not he should drink some water. See those things in the background? Those are tomato plants. Tomato plants are growing like crazy. Anyhow, so uh, one of the things that I wanted to show and talk about is, uh, you know, you go to put horses out. Uh, and I did a whole video about it. I'll try to link that below on uh, trying to leave them soft. And, uh, and Roni and uh, Gracie were terrific examples of, um, you know, horses that... Uh, that sometimes don't want to hang around with you. They just want to leave. I should do that. Hi, Ronnie. You guys are good little teachers. Let's put it that way. Um, and it's just practice. <laughs> she whiz, eh? Get him, Gracie. You tell him what for. So you stink. Take a bath. Luke says, I don't stink. You stink. Stinky Arabian. No, I don't. There you do. You stink. And you're orange. Oops. She's got some energy sometimes for that business. And other times she gets pushed around. What is it, Luke? What do you want me to do about it? I can't do nothing. He says, you could scratch.
curious action, eh? Get her, Roni. Make her stop. It's noisy. Let's have a nice quiet morning today. Anyhow, so the idea being that, uh, you know, you chuck them out, you're dedicated to the chucking out process. And it really means that we, um, <laughs> look at his ears come up. Uh, it really means that we, we have them leave on something quiet and soft. You know. And they have to wait for you to tune out of them rather than they choose to tune out of you. You know, you get practice, practice, practice at that as much as possible so that they turn into a Luke or a Lena one day. No, I just want to put my coffee cup down. <clears throat> just briefly even. Get off my table. So shut up. It's my table. Um, and then, uh, you know, then there's no more worry of this. It's, it's a more safe to let your horses go without them running off because sometimes they'll kick when they leave i think i did a video about that with this girl gracie one time she went to go leave and she kicked out as she left is there anything tasty in there just stand oh she's gonna tell luke what to do we better back out of this space. Make some space for an argument. She says, I'll punch you in the nose. Oh, he's leaving. So we'll leave too. Oh, hey, it's a showdown. The boys. Uh-oh, nope. Not if Tracy can help it. Roni's the boss here. He sets, uh, sets the rules amongst these five. Which is good. He's a nice quiet leader. I really like him for that. He's not the type of what some people refer to as a, a leader of a herd that is quite sort of bossy or seems a little unrefined, a little bit too ambitious. Think she'll come pretty far back with me? She's hoping for a scratch. Some people might be thinking, she's gonna kick you. She's not going to kick me. She's hoping that I'll scratch her, but unfortunately I have a coffee in one hand, camera in the other, and I don't scratch with my mouth like a horse. Here's your Arabian butt for the day. Ta-da! So, uh, we might leave it at that. I don't know. See, Roni sucks at grooming. Look at him. He just chews. Oh, he's getting a little better. A little bit. Really, he just bites one time. Just a little inept, buddy. Need some lessons. Lena's actually quite tall, standing on the bridge. She's way up over top of him. Look at her. Smart horse. So Roni's getting a little bit of a, what on earth do you want? <laughs> She's sidling on over. I'm just going to back up. Yeah. She says, I want some cold groomings from my human. Human, you scratch me now. We've come back a good 20 feet even. That's pretty good. Some people say horses don't back up so well. They don't know. It's unnatural. Couldn't be more natural. She's moving in. She said, Lena, help a sister out. Lena says, I'm going to Luke. He knows what he's doing. Not if Roni can help it. He's coming in. Luke doesn't care. He's looking in the forest, sniffing somebody's poop in the corner. And this is the interesting part. You know, these three have been together for five years now easily yeah, a well-established relationship it actually started out with the boys being a bit of a meanie pants to Lena she wasn't allowed to eat much she'd always get kicked out of the shelter 
Had a couple shelters, but they always boot her out. She doesn't put up with that now. We had a horse named Benny here, a standard bred, absolutely amazing horse. And she used to hang around with him a lot because he was the tough guy. <clears throat> and excellent. If there's ever a horse leader around, that boy was, he's the guy you want to pay attention to. He'd get stuff done from 100 feet away. No problemo. They're going to Gracie. Why? She's no funsies. Um, and uh, so she hung around with him an awful lot. And after that, everything changed. Right, Luke? You started getting kicked and beat up on and all kinds of stuff. Lena didn't put up with your your uh, antics and shenanigans. And uh oh, you got to do some grooming, buddy. You better turn around. Good boy. <laughs> he knows what he has to do. So they're best friends. But, but yeah, I think Benny taught her a lot. And it worked out well. It's dusty today a little. We haven't had a speck of rain in weeks. I know some people are getting too much rain. Sorry to hear about that. We don't have much here at all. Nothing in the forecast. Barely clouds coming in the forecast. Oh, he's got to get him moving. I need three hands or less coffee, I guess. Should have drank my coffee before I came out here. Ah, well. Let's leave it at that. Hopefully that's been a little bit enjoyable and a little bit of a learning experience. Get dedicated to letting your horses out. Be consistent each and every time for safety purposes because who knows who's letting your horse go. These two, terrific. These two, not very good. That guy, well he's amazing from the get-go. So. Uh, I came up here and he's, he's approached me. I thought, gee, I guess I didn't feature you much, did I? I just have a couple of flies right there if I could grab them. Yeah, you're welcome. He's such a, a nice horse. He's curious. He's kind, he's gentle. He's good looking. Young, he's got so much potential for his future. Look at him. So what do you want to do? Should we go for a walk? You know what? We probably should on our brand new trail. Okay, that's it for now.